it's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a bitch. That was President Joe Biden calling Peter Ducey of Fox News a stupid son of a bitch. Now, Biden has been on a bit of a losing streak lately, but I've got to say, this is probably the first time that I've agreed with Joe Biden in about a year. But the question is, what exactly happened? What led to that? Because you couldn't really understand what Peter Ducey was yelling at Biden. But we do have some details. So as CNBC explains, the verbal slip took place during a White House event on Biden administration efforts to combat inflation. After Biden complained that all the press questions were about the military buildup around Ukraine, Ducey shouted, will you take questions about inflation? Do you think inflation is a political liability ahead of the midterms? Thinking his microphone was turned off, Biden responded sarcastically. No, that's a great asset. More inflation. He added, what a stupid son of a bitch. Imagine if Biden was this direct at someone like Kirsten Sinema or Joe Manchin, who in his own party is obstructing his agenda. Imagine if he was just one tenth as assertive with them as he was here to Peter Ducey. Uh, Peter Ducey deserves it, of course. This is an individual who actually is fairly stupid. Just last Wednesday, I think, he was asking Joe Biden why he was trying to pull the country to the far left, which is absurd. Biden is a center-right capitalist neoliberal politician. This is not a leftist by any stretch of the imagination. So Peter Ducey is, in fact, dim. And, you know, it's, it's something that he deserves. But... Having said that, though, I've got to give him a little bit of credit because he kind of took the insult and was a good sport. So he talked about this on Fox News uh, and was kind of joking around about it. Take a look. And then he said that. And I couldn't even hear him because people were shouting at us to get out. But somebody came up to me in the briefing room a few minutes later and said, did you hear what the president <laughs> said? And I said, no, what? They said he called you a stupid SOB. And I said, did he say S-O-B? And the person said no. <laughs> he did the elongated version. You know? Prime time? Uh, yep. So, Ducey, I think the president's right. You are a stupid S-O-B. <laughs> yeah, nobody has fact-checked him yet and said it's not true. <laughs> no one's given Pinocchios for that one. No, but... Okay. Well, look, credit to him for being a good sport. I'll be honest, if I was asking a politician a question and they said that to me, I would be mad. I would have to, you know, hit back at them. But I don't think that he heard Joe Biden. I think, you know, he said it pretty softly. Um, you know, I think maybe Biden was thinking his microphone was off and that if you mouth that, you can kind of have that plausible deniability. So if people see, if they read your lips and they say, did you call him a stupid son of a bitch? You could say, no, that's not what I said. Of course not. Um, so, you know, if that was said about me, I would be upset. But kudos to Fox News and Peter Ducey for taking it like a champ. I expected them to be extremely butthurt about this and mauled about it for days, if not weeks. But yeah, so, you know, just kind of a little bit of a lighthearted story that I wanted to share with you. There's a lot of doom and gloom currently. You know, the situation in the country as it relates to the pandemic, not so uh, optimistic right now. Uh, the situation in Ukraine with Russia potentially invading them and then the Biden administration subsequently escalating by uh, putting troops on standby. A little bit worrying. You know, World War III, the prospect of that is definitely a little bit uh, horrifying to think about. And so I think that when we get these lighthearted stories like this, it is um, important to try to use them to distract ourselves. Um, but since we're talking at Joe, uh, about Joe Biden, I would be remiss to not say cancel student debt, you dickhead. So I'll leave that there. Nothing left to say, just the lighthearted story that kind of put a smile on my face and maybe it'll do the same for you. You know, you, you, you know, you know, the, you know, the thing, thing. You're getting nervous, man, man.